Yes, that was Riviera Regime featuring Chief Kamachi with Righteous Renegades. And we got Klee on the phone with us right now. What's good, brother? Yo, yo, what it, what it do, man? What's good, bro? How you doing? I'm I'm good, man. I'm good. I'm here. I had a, had a good interview with uh, Chief Kamachi earlier, and it was it was fun to get a chance to talk to him and see what's what what he's got popping and how how he's excited to get up here and and tour Canada and stuff. So and and you're the one who who made it all possible, put it together. So yes, sir. Yeah, man. That's what's up. Yeah, we we got the tour coming up. We're setting it off tomorrow in Toronto. We're gonna be doing it up at the Silver Dollar. It's gonna be crazy. So you know, set it off. Then we got it um, Friday in London. And then we're going to head out to Guelph. We're going to do it up with you Word on up. Saturday. You know what I'm saying? So we're definitely looking forward to that. Yeah, it's going to be a good good run. Shout out to Obeast out there in London who's holding that one down. He's going to come down here here to Guelph for his show. And, yes, yeah. sir. Shout out to Obeast and the fam. They're going to be on the tour with us, you know. So my boy, Hernan Every Critic, is coming out from New York. And we got Big Stretch of Demon Slayer down with the camp. Riviera Regime Music Gang going to be rolling out as well. So, you know, it's going to be a good time. We're going to we're going to tear it up, man. It's just a little 3-day run, but you know, we're bringing that real hip hop, man, to uh, Southern Ontario as we always do, you know. <laughs> yes, yes, definitely. It's good to get out there, man, and get on get on the road, especially with uh with an act such as as Chief Kamachi, you know, he's been putting in work for for time, definitely what you would consider a veteran in the game, you know. And yeah, uh, it's I- good good that you're up, you know, working with him. Yeah, yeah, I've been working with Kamachi for a minute now, like, since, um, actually, he came up, I think that might have been his first time up in Canada, was, uh, he came up for the Raps of the Titans, the, I did a, uh, the first Raps of the Titans tour I did. Okay. Snow Goons, if, when the Snow Goons came up, I don't know if you remember when that yeah. happened oh, yeah. in 2010. Yeah, uh, I have Kamachi. the, I have the flyer in my room, <laughs> to be honest. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> okay, all right, that's what's up, so yeah, yeah, we, uh. You know, we hit up uh, we hit up a few uh, Ontario cities as well on that tour. That was like a little mini run. It was like a four or five day run, and um, that was his first time up here. So we've been working ever since. He came up after that again for um, another tour, Raps of the Titans two tour when we did that with Danny Diablo and them. And Reef the Lost Cause was on that tour as well. Yep. Um, it was a pretty tight tour. We had Ad Lib up there as well on that tour. That was back in 2011, the, the, right in the beginning of 2011. Yeah, so I have like, that poster too. <laughs> nice, nice. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, we're, that's like you know, that's already like we got a few years in the in you know in history now doing it up. So you know, Kamachi's a good dude. We had him on my album on um, the track he just played. We had the, that's on the Chaotic Temple album on that Riviera Regime album that we dropped in 2013. <laughs> So, you know, we, we featured him up on the album. I have him on the Il Regime Volume 1 album. I got him on a track called Desert Eagles featuring Adlib, um, Reef the Lost Cause, Chief Kamachi, and Matt Maddox. Dope, you know what I'm dope. saying on the hook. So, yeah, so definitely Kamachi's part of the fam. He's good peoples, and, uh, you know, he's an originator in the game. He's been doing it for a long time. Fully respect him, you know, as an MC. And as a human being, so you know, looking forward to having him up here tomorrow, and we're gonna set it off at that silver dollar. You know what I'm saying? So any Toronto listeners listening right now, if they're interested in coming down, it's that silver dollar. It's only ten dollars in advance. You can get tickets at uh, rivieraregime.com forward slash events, or just go online, like Google that, um, right? Just Renegades tour, Chief Kamachi in Toronto at the Silver Dollar with Queen Magore. It's gonna be live. It's gonna be crazy, and. As well, you're, you know, you might as well plug the Guelph show, right? Oh, yeah, no, we, we've been plugging all night. They know about it. It's Saturday night. You know, y'all know where to go to. Squirrel through, squirrel through the house. It's going to be a good time. Yes, sir. Absolutely. Looking forward to that as well. And London as well. So, you know, it's definitely going to be a good time, man. You know, bringing that real hip hop to, to the streets of Ontario. You know what I'm saying? Yes, yes. So what do you got uh what do you got planned as far as projects for yourself? Do you got any any solo projects that we can look forward to coming out this year? Yeah, actually, as a matter of fact, I've been in the studio working on my uh my latest project is called uh The Last Exolark. It's uh, going to be a solo project, Clean Aboard The Last Exolark. It's featuring I got features on it. Um I got a few good features on there. I could tell you um I got Onyx on there. Uh-huh. Um I got Jay with the Damage on a track with a video. Um, that we shot, we shot a video out in, in, uh, Jerusalem, actually, actually, that was wow, kind of, kind of crazy. Yeah, it's going to be epic. It was Jeru, Jeru, the damages first time in Jerusalem. So, you know, definitely something big. And, um, uh, we shot a video for the, for the dra- track we did together 
and that's going to be on that album and i got some other joints on there so i've been working on that it's going to be crazy so for you know for people to look out for that that's going to be coming this year later on in the year though that's dope man looking forward to checking it out and we'll definitely try and get some uh some spins up here on the station for you yeah absolutely i appreciate i appreciate all the support man all the support that you've been uh showing us and definitely good looks on that I'll, I'll i'll be dropping a video for that like in the next um few months man like be on the lookout uh, i'll be dropping some some videos one after the other soon been working on some stuff so pow, pow. you know yeah that's yeah. what it is man definitely and talk to these mcs a little bit because i got a lot of listeners that uh that tune in who are who are artists themselves you know what i mean of what it's like to be in your position you know what i mean to be working with some of these artists and touring you know hitting up places like jerusalem and stuff like that like how how are you able to make that all come to fruition and uh and specifically touching on the fact that you know you you're staying consistent with it you know what i mean you've never stopped since you started so talk to the people yeah. a little bit about that all right. Um, yeah, man. I mean, it's a lot of work. You just got to stay focused on on what you want. You know, want want to see happening. You know, just got to just manifest your your vision into reality. Um, it's like forward motion. You can't you can't really stop and you know look look to the sides for too long. You got to just make you know make things happen. Um, it's a lot of you know it's just a lot of move making. You know, power moves. You got to. You got to can't be afraid to you know take chances and risks and um, reach out to people and um, you know travel the world. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's, it's for a dude like me. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Been doing it for for a minute now, but you know it's never ending. So you know you just got to keep at it and you know connect with the right people. You know what I mean? And um, keep doing the art form and uh, you know just putting together these events. You know what I mean? Looking 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 for opportunities. You know what I'm saying? Like just knowing when an opportunity is there in front of you in order to be able to like, you know, take advantage of it and, you know, do something with that. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So it's, it's, it's for as an MC, you know, coming up, you got to just keep working at your craft and keep working at and getting where you fit into, you know, all of the, all of the above, you know, it's a whole bunch of things. It's, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's, a, it's, it's, it's a work. It's work. You got to work at it, man. So it's 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 never been easy for me. I've been doing it for for a few years now. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know what I mean. The reason I can continue to do it is because um, I mean I'm I'm 100 percent indie too. You know, like I never got any grants or anything like that. But um, you know, I, I would definitely I would definitely recommend you know man to go out and try to get grants, try to get assistance from you know from any any um, any programs that they can you know get involved in whatever. But, um, you know, at the end of the day, you just got to have your heart in, in, in it. You got to believe in it. You know what I'm saying? So if your heart's in it, you're going to get somewhere with it. You know what I mean? Definitely. Definitely. And, and that's what it is, though, at the end of the day, because people who don't stick in, I know, I know in this industry, it's hard to see money early on. And a lot of MCs, you know, who are start off, they get real discouraged, um, are off the back because they're just like, wow, I'm putting so much money into this and I don't see anything back. The people who are actually going to last and stick around are the people who have the heart in it because they're the ones that have the love for the game and the love will always outlast that want for the money and people who, who just are there for that money, they're going to fall off quick, I think. Yeah, you know, definitely got to believe in it and have a love for it. You know, that it starts with the love for it. I mean, you got to also know how to make a business out of it, you know, so it's, um, it's, a, it's a balancing act. You know, you got to know how to... You know, be able to stay true to stay true to what you believe in and, and love. You know, for, as far as an artist is concerned, but at the same time, if you you want to like have longevity, you have to also turn it into a business and know how to handle it as a business so that you can you can actually you know profit from it and, and be able to reinvest your uh, you know into it and continue doing that and thrive off that. You know what I mean? So mm -hmm. there's definitely a balancing act that you know that somebody has to master in order to be able to su be successful in it. You know what I'm saying? It's, uh, so it's a process. You just got to stay at it, though. Yeah, you know? no, I and feel learn, And learn from your mistakes. Learn from all the pitfalls, you know, so that you you can, you know, persevere and continue. You know what I'm saying? Definitely, no. I just, I see some people who, like, who are complaining and and they they haven't seen the money yet. They've been at it for a while. And it's just like, you look back at them and you're just like, like, where's your business plan? Like, where's your merchandise? Where's your CDs? Where's this? Where's that? Where's your website? And all this kind of stuff. And if they, they've their answer is i don't know to all those above questions then that's why you're not making any money you know what i mean you got to actually have product out there have a lot of things in place and like really push that product to be able to make you know 
make a name mm-hmm. for yourself and to, to be able to make this a lucrative business as opposed to just something that eats holes into your pocket. Yeah, man. I mean, definitely. You got to stay stay at it and, you know, you got to be productive with it. And you have to have an organized plan in order to fully succeed. You know what I mean? There's a lot of things that I haven't done that I should be doing. So it, it's never too late to get better. You know what I mean? So it's, it's just some people, the problem with, with what, what happens is people, they just, they lose their faith in what they're doing. They never really fully believed in it. So that they, they just fall off and they do end up doing other things. You know what I mean? Because they lose interest. You know what I mean? So you have to be interested in it. You have to always want to learn and, you know, get better at it. And, you know, so if you're, if you're passionate about it, then you're going to continue doing it. And, and, you know, inevitably you're going to get better at it. And, and then, you know, everything just manifests into, into success. You know what I mean? Word up, word up. I like that. Yo, I want to talk to you a little bit real quick. I know we got to end this uh, in in a few minutes, but I want to get deep into some deep stuff because I haven't got enough deep conversations. I know you're a deep thinker. You got, you know, tracks uh, talking about some really, you know, interesting things. Um, Yes, sir. My question to you is, where are we from? Where are we from? Yes. Where are we from? In your, in your, uh, in your opinion developed through your experience through the life that you've lived. When you say we, as in, you mean as in mankind, as in human human beings, is that what you re, you're referring to? Or one hundred percent, yes. Okay, well, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it's a broad question. I think we're from Earth, like that's why we're Earthlings. You know, I think we're from this planet. I mean, as as crazy as we, you know, mankind is, you know, I, I definitely believe that we we are exist. We are a byproduct of this Earth. You know what I'm saying? Um, I believe we come from the dirt. You know, like, that's why we're earthlings. We come from the earth. Our skin goes, everything goes back to the earth eventually. You know what I'm saying? That's why most people, they get buried after they die. So we go back to the earth, you know what I mean? Become part of the earth again. Mm -hmm. Um, You know, spiritually, we're from spiritual realms that I can't even really fully conceive. You know what I'm saying? Can only envision, you know what I'm saying? Um, I mean, we are spiritual being. We are spiritual beings as well. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. so um, the the question I always ask is: Are we spiritual beings living a human existence? Are we humans living, or are we spiritual beings living a physical existence? Or are we physical beings living a spiritual existence? You know what I'm saying? I think a little bit of both. <laughs> right. For sure. There's a little bit of both. We need so. we need the physical to experience. You know certain things in life that are going to gain that spiritual understanding, I think. Yeah, exactly. Like, it's, it, one go, doesn't go out without... I mean, they can go separate, but we we as human beings, we are connected to both spiritual and physical. So I think we're from here. I just think that, you know, it's like we have to figure ourselves out. I don't think mankind fully understands what we are yet. You know what I mean? It's all about evolution, you know, so... Yeah, no, I feel like a lot of... Uh, a lot of now we've forgotten who we really are you know what i mean that's that's a big thing that keeps coming up a theme almost in my life is like trying to get back to the essence and to actually remember you know what got us here why we're here like th- those are the biggest questions you know what i mean that's what i really like to talk about and contemplate is like you know what 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 is the purpose of life what is the purpose of life to you clean mcgore <laughs> oh well man just try to get paid get you know get laid and then and, and, you know and enjoy life <laughs> sleaze bag uh, yes real, but uh no <laughs> just on the on a prime level of it all at the end of the day we try we got we need to survive you know what i'm saying every day is like a hustle so you yeah. gotta hustle and eat but you know the true meaning of life though i mean what is what is it you know what is life to me i mean shit man it's just that's it's a gift man we're a lot you know i don't you know, as much as we can try to analyze it and break it down, you know, at the end of the day, it's just a gift that was given to us that we didn't ask for. We just received. Yeah. And um, it's an opportunity to live live out our dreams, man, and live out our, you know, live out what we want to do while we have the time to do it. You know what I mean? And um, just got to enjoy it because, you know, it's not, it's, it's, it's not for a long time. It's short. You know what I mean? Life is short. And we only, we don't know how many opportunities we have to, to you know, live out life. So... You know what I'm saying, um, man. But I mean, it, it gets deep. I mean, it's, <laughs> there's probably so many different meanings to life that you know, everybody everybody has their own version of what it means to them. You know, I think yeah. in many respects. You know, we all we all live our own, we all going through our own life experiences. So we we connect. Everybody can. We're all connected somehow. You know, spiritually. But at the end of the day, we all go individually into this world, and we all have our own. You know 
journey that we have to live out. You know what I mean? One hundred percent, man. I feel that. I feel that. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah, man. It's That's not about it the destination. It's about the journey. It's about, it's the journey. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yes. That's what it's about. Life's about it. Life is basically is about a journey. That's yeah. what it's about. And enjoying it, like you said, to make make the most of every single moment out there. You know, just just get out there Absolutely. and live your life. Yeah, live your life, man. Be happy, you know, and just be thankful for your health, man. Because without health, we we really don't got nothing. You know what I mean? So people take things for granted, you know, and just be happy you're, that you're breathing and you're, you're living, you know, and you're ha- that you're healthy, you know what I mean? That's what's and up. Take advantage of this freedom we got in Canada, in a great country like Canada, where we could just walk free, you know what I mean? We're blessed. I mean, for, the, for the most part, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. We're, as compared to some other, I was, I was watching Hotel Rwanda yesterday and just like, breaking down because i'm just like this is crazy this other places this mm-hmm. stuff is actually going on you know what i mean so yeah, we are very very blessed to be living here Absolutely. in canada 100 percent, definitely that's yes, what sir. up all right man well much respects for doing the interview here man we look forward to seeing you come out on saturday in guelph for the show with chief kamachi big yes, ups sir. on on everything that you're doing man Good looks, bro. I appreciate it all, man. And uh, definitely looking forward to seeing you in Guelph on Saturday and looking forward to seeing everybody at all the shows, man. And, and hopefully all the Toronto heads will come down tomorrow. As many as can come out, you know, um, to the Silver Dollar, man. We're going to set it off. And yeah, man, I'll, I'll be talking to you soon, all right? All right, Thanks sounds for good. Thanks me on the radio. I appreciate it, bro. No doubt, man. All right, man. Peace. Peace.